Hey y'all, I'm Jamie Dean. I'm back here in Mama's Kitchen sharing simple, delicious recipes with you. Today we're doing something I don't really cook a whole lot, fish. I'm doing a zesty butter sauce over grilled mahi-mahi. I like fish okay. Uh, Michael was just asking me, he has some trout, if I would like some of the trout that he has. I'm not a big saltwater or freshwater fish person. I don't know, it's weird. I like fish, but I don't like fish. But if I cook fish, I like fish. I don't order fish. That's what I should say. I love to fish. So today I'm sharing a really delicious recipe with you. And a lot of the flavor is gonna come from the fish, but this sauce is gonna help it along too. So I've got my pan warm. We've got our butter going in. I've got lemon juice. You cannot have fish without lemon. We've got some pepper. I've got some fresh garlic. Some seasoning salt rather than regular salt today. And this is where a lot of the flavor is gonna come from. I've got some fresh chopped basil. So the zesty basil lemon sauce is really what's gonna help set our fish apart. So I'm gonna take care and not scorch this. I've got it just on really low heat. I want my garlic to cook a little bit. The heat's gonna bring out a lot of the flavor from our basil and y'all know what butter does to not only fish, but everything else that's good. Seasoning salt's a little bit different. It's got a different flavor, flavor profile for us, but really the fresh herbs with the lemon juice are gonna be the primary flavors that we're gonna be eating on our fish. Now, while this is going a little bit, I've got three tablespoons of olive oil in this pan that I've been heating up, so it's ready to go for us. We've got our fish fillets that I've already seasoned. These have got salt and pepper on them, and I'm just gonna sear these for just a few minutes on each side. That was just hot enough to get going here. A mistake that a lot of people make with fish is to overcook it. Now, everybody out there has had their fair share of sushi. So you know you don't even have to cook some fish to eat it. But every fish that you cook probably needs to cook a little bit less than you think it does. Because food continues to cook once you take it off. Just like your steaks or burgers, fish is exactly the same. The heat is going to continue to cook. So I'm going to keep a close eye on these. This is about three minutes here. We've got our sauce really going good here. And of course, if you want to leak into the description below, that's where you can get the full recipe. We're gonna take two second break here, let this butter melt down, and then we'll flip, we'll flip our fish over. See y'all back here in a second. Okay, y'all, you see, like right here on the edge, you can see that this is starting to cook up. That's the way that if you're gonna flip something, keep an eye on the sides. And once this starts to kind of cook up a little bit, you know that you're good to flip over. Could have left this one more second longer. I kind of like that brown marking on it, but it is what it is. We're gonna cover it with zesty basil butter sauce anyway. These fillets are perfect. And this only takes about three minutes on each side. So while we finish this, I wanna remind y'all, be sure and subscribe to mom's YouTube channel where you can find all of these delicious recipes. It goes back years and we're gonna be doing them for years to come. So mom's YouTube channel is always gonna be a great resource for y'all for simple, delicious recipes that you share with your family. Y'all give me about two minutes and we're gonna finish this fish off when we come back. Okay y'all, it's time to eat. You know that fish is brain food? Maybe I should eat all three of these myself. I'm gonna turn this off. What I really love about this mahi too is that it doesn't have a very strong fish odor. I guess is one of the challenges that I have to overcome when I'm doing fish. I like fish that taste like chicken. <laughs> All right, now that we've got our, look how beautiful that is. We've got our zesty lemon basil sauce here and I'm gonna spoon over So pretty. Hmm, really, really, really pretty. I've got a little bit of fresh greens here. If you have some fresh basil, that would be nice on the plate too. I'm using a little bit of parsley and I've got a little piece of lemon and I'm gonna squeeze right on top of that. 
And so that's it, y'all. The only thing missing is my lips. Thanks for tuning in today. I'll see y'all around the kitchen. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.